Hi, I'm Jane. So today I'm outside in the sunshine in mid-March. We are not done with winter. We're still going to get a lot of snow. And even if we don't get any more snow, we're still having really low temps. So I'm going to do some winter sewing. On the table behind me, I have a lot of pots. Well, let me turn the camera around and show you this. I got a lot of these large nursery cans that I'm going to fill up today, put plastic over the top. We're going to plant some seeds in them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of those so far. And I still do have, if you see my wheelbarrow down there, I still do have quite a few jugs I can still use. And then if you look over there, my yard needs a lot of cleanup at the moment, but I've got a good, that's all I got done this year <laughs> with the back pain. But let's play in the yard while we've got the sunshine. The dogs are having a good time. My big Great Pyrenees passed away two weeks ago. So I have patches and then honey, come here, baby. Come here, honey, come here, honey. Come here, honey, come here. And then I have honey, which is my sweet little dog that's always with me. My Ethan is helping me. He's going to open a giant Costco sized bag of potting soil and stick it in this rainwater that was outside. And we're going to do a whole lot of here. winter sowing. Yep, right in there. Okay. Just dump the whole thing in. Let's get it all wet. You got to see my son's shirt. Can we show it off? world's tallest leprechaun he's the tallest family. in my family and so we always we always talk about how tall he is he's six feet at 16. This is kind of the deep litter method where you keep adding bedding all on top all winter long. This is just rabbit manure with bedding and some alfalfa in there too. This is going to be a good layer for my winter sowing. And for all the... We need to get a bigger shovel. We need to go find a bigger shovel. Got a bigger shovel. This makes more sense. It's not moving it very well. I need to fix that hole, or my son does. Maybe he can help me with it. All the chickens are so happy out here. We got some sunshine. <laughs> oh, we're all happy. Even to do the tiniest thing, like cleaning out a, a rabbit hutch. The weight of the... Look what it did. Look what the rabbits have done. Got to fix this whole hutch again. On the outside looks awesome. But on the inside, I'd also love to use the bottom area. So it's a little bit more space for the rabbit to run around. And I'd love to connect it to the back one too. Let me see if I can show you over there. I didn't even get one hutch done and I'm completely worn out. This is life. Dealing with back injury really sucks. I've got to get a garbage can out here and take care of any plastic that's around here. But I've got one bucket, this and that. Can't lift them, so I'll see if my son will help me lift poo. Hey, chickens! Hot chickens! Rabbit bedding. The good thing about these pots or bigger is you don't need a whole lot of prep. So what I do is I fill the bottom with rabbit bedding. And if I have any wood chips, which I do, they're kind of, let me show you, broken down over there. But I'm not supposed to be digging right now. <laughs> so if my son will help me, that we'll do that. But otherwise, 
we will just put a layer of rabbit poo at the bottom and then a layer of the very top is going to be potting soil seeds then plastic i want some of that So these roots don't need to be winter sown, so I'll take those out. But the rest of this is awesome. This will be my bottom layer, wood chips, broken down wood chips at the very bottom of those pots. And the worms can come too. Josh is digging, Patches is digging. Thanks, Patch, you're doing a good job back there. <laughs> He's filling this up for me. Look at all the worms. This is good soil. It's gonna be good soil. This is all broken down wood chips. That's all this is. Should we go figure out what Patch, what he's digging? Patches, what are you doing? Are you enjoying this weather too? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, huh? We made it through the winter. What type of thing are you digging? Pain in the butt. And we gotta see the gorgeous mountains. This tree is gonna go bye bye. Beautiful mountains. All right, I'm going to layer this pot. My first layer is going to be the broken down wood chips. Second layer is going to be rabbit bedding. Top layer is going to be very wet potting soil. I think we're going to add another potting soil in there. And then we're going to stick it all in here. Seeds go on top. Plastic goes on top with holes. And then you got to secure it down with twine or duct tape. Okay, my bottom layer is going to be broken down wood chips. I'm going to try to get any of those tree roots out because I don't want those. So, you don't have to do it this way. This is the way I do it to save money because potting soil is expensive. Okay, here's the middle layer, rabbit bedding. So this is rabbit bedding with rabbit poo. A little bit more. Okay, let's ready for the top layer. Need to add more because it's pretty wet. All right, here's the top layer. Let me make sure it's nice and wet. I might just go like this and then add some water. Can you see what I'm doing? This is the potting soil. So now we have all three layers. Now we're ready for seeds and plastic. This is rainwater. Okay, we're gonna let the water settle for a minute. Let's go grab our seeds. Okay, so I just brought a whole bunch of seeds out. They're just in a container where they can't get wet. 
and all of these are blanket flower. So I'm going to start out with blanket flower in those four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to put our blanket flower in. I'm just going to sprinkle it. There's a little bit. Okay, I have a giant piece of plastic here. I'm going to cut it down so it can fit over four of these containers. And then I'm going to put holes and duct tape. Let's do this. So this section, so I need to cut here and there. And then I can, that can fit over the top of that one. Okay, that's a good piece of plastic. We're going to duct tape it all the way around. And we're going to put holes at the top. Okay, I duct taped it down. And now we're going to stab some holes at the top. I'm doing this with my left so that I can record. So you're going to make some pretty good sized holes in here so that the water and the snow can get in. do that. I like to kind of just press it. Now we're going to have the greenhouse effect and you can still get the water in. Let me go get a label, a marker to write on this. You don't want a sharpie, they fade, but I do have a garden marker and the first one is ready to go join those. And then I've got all these to do and all these to do. I'm going to be out here for a while, but look at that. Who wouldn't want to be out here? Oh, bring on the sunshine. Blanket flower layered on March 16th. Two done. Four done. I've had the question, what am I winter sowing this year? And from this traditional way, I am doing mostly um, perennials. So I've got yarrow, sea holly, columbine, sweet william, salvia, coreopsis, blanket flower, liatris. But I am just getting started. I'm going to be doing some annual type in the giant pots. Follow along. I hope you enjoyed this video of me working some no transplant winter sowing in this beautiful sunshine with the gorgeous mountains behind me. So here's your traditional one. You've got some sort of milk jug, holes at the bottom, duct tape. This one is a coreopsis. And then you have your one that we worked on today. Kind of heavy to lift. Woo. So go play in your yard. We still have lots of night temps under 50, probably for a good month or more. You can still winter sow. In some other videos that I'm doing this week, I'm going to do some giant pots and I'm going to do a giant raised bed, water trough raised bed. So keep following along. It's going to be great. Bye.